welcome back to my home and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different than what I usually do. Usually I'm taking you around my home and showing you how I organize things and just keep things running smoothly. Well today I'm actually going to be organizing my car and I had these great plans to take you outside with me and really dig into the car and we had a cold snap here in central Pennsylvania and it is freezing cold outside. So I decided I laid everything out here on my dining room table that I'm gonna be organizing today. And I got a lot of organizers, things that will go like on the back of the seats, things that will go between the seats, just to organize different things. So I think we're gonna go ahead and organize those things all in here and then we will take them out to my car and put them in the car. And actually this way you may be able to see things better than me trying to get my camera situated inside of my vehicle. This is actually the second year of me doing this. Right around this time, right before summer hits, I really like to get my car stocked up and get things in it that we use often. We have a lot of sporting events throughout the summer, so we're in and out of the car a lot. It's actually kind of interesting to compare what all I used last summer versus what I'm stocking up with now. This is gonna look like a lot of stuff. But in reality, we really used up a lot of this stuff last year throughout the warmer months. I do have three children, so that plays a part in all of this. So if you're a mom, this might be helpful to you as well. And another note I wanna make is this also saves us a lot of money because we don't have to pay convenience store prices for things like Advil and other things like that where you're gonna pay a lot at a gas station for whenever you already have it on hand. And if the lighting is changing a lot, it's because it's super windy and cold and the sun keeps peeking in and out. I'm going to flip the camera around, show you what I've got, and then I'm gonna show you my organizers. Now, pretty much, I would say probably 95% of the things that, that I'm going to be organizing in the car are from Dollar Tree. I'll explain a little more about that as I go. If it's not from Dollar Tree, I will acknowledge that. I don't wanna go through and say, at, like this is from Dollar Tree and that's from Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so like I said, this is going to look like a lot, but I only do this once a year and really only stock up one time and then we use it throughout the year and it's super convenient just to have all of these things on hand plus this year, Dollar Tree had a lot of new stuff that I did not remember them having the last time. Just things that would be super handy. And also the ages of my children changing played a part in this as well. So I tried to lay everything out in categories. So we're gonna start on this end of the table, which is the snack area. And to be honest, Dollar Tree is one of the best places to get single packages of snacks. They can be kind of pricey, but whenever you can get like this whole box, it's six packs of these little like crackers, butter crackers, um, they are $1.25 for that whole thing. So I think that's a great price for whenever you want things in single packages. I'd normally buy stuff in bulk, but when it comes to this kind of thing, you know, it's easy to have on hand and it has saved us so many times of stopping at fast food places whenever somebody's just a little bit hungry and can't make it till we get home and just needs a little bite of something to eat. Along with that, I got these. I did have these in the car from last year, but there are times that it would be nice if they had something to hold something in, even for like french fries, if we do grab food somewhere. I'm not sure if I'll be putting these in the car. I'm gonna wait and see if I have a spot for them since they are one of the biggest things I have here, but I grabbed them just in case. Either way, I can use them for something else. And then I did grab a few snacks that would be more on my line of things, so some pistachios. I had no idea Dollar Tree had freeze-dried fruit, but they do. I got strawberries and mangoes. We have a few other little snacky things here. I'm gonna probably be putting them in different areas of the car, some in the back, some in the front. Um, and we'll get to that in a minute. This week's video is brought to you by Ofuzi Handheld Vacuum Cleaners. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the Ofuzi Handheld Vacuum H9 Pro. It comes perfectly packaged right to your doorstep. The H9 Pro is in gray and they also have a Pet Pro that I'll be showing you in white. Pet Pro does have three more nozzles than the H9 Pro. All the nozzles fit on both models. This battery operated vacuum is super lightweight and is able to run 30 minutes on gear one and 14 minutes on gear two with higher power.
when you have children and pets, handheld vacuums are where it's at. I love having these around my house so I can quickly grab them when a mess occurs. Since they're so lightweight, they're super simple to use and anyone in my household can use them. And with us having a dog in the house, the pet attachment definitely comes in handy. I know for myself personally, fighting with a corded vacuum when you are vacuuming out a car can be so frustrating. So having something that is cordless to be able to climb into the car and vacuum out all of the crumbs and debris is absolutely ideal. you can easily dump the dust cup with no mess touching. It has a 600 milliliter large dust bin that does not require you to dump it frequently. The Pet Pro does come in both colors and it has a great Pet Pro nozzle. Because this vacuum is so compact, it's very easy to store virtually anywhere. It also has a front light design that even in dark, narrow spaces, you can easily clean it. This feature is super helpful when you are vacuuming out a vehicle. Check out the links and the information in the description box to pick up your own handheld vacuum, and I know you're gonna love it as much as I love mine. Another thing that is really nice to have on hand is just a little bit of tiny paper goods. So these Dollar Tree had, and I thought they were so nice. You could put ketchup in them if you needed to, you know, when you have dips and sauces or just whatnot. Um, they could even work as a little cup. I do have a pack of cups. I did actually get these last year, and we never used them, but I just think that it's nice to have on hand in case we only have like a big water and we need to share it with somebody or something like that. Speaking of, I did grab these little waters and I also like to put a roll of paper towels in the back. That's always like a must. Whenever somebody is sick and you have an accident and you have a mess, I'll be getting to more of that in a second over here, but this is key and so are wet wipes. We use wet wipes a lot. I have these little packs of, um, I also have these little packs of tissues. You can't beat eight packs for $1.25, super great. And then just like a few other little snacks. This was something new I hadn't seen before. I thought I would put it up by the driver's seat. It's a small silicone straw that's folded up inside of here. Um, I have a little caddy that I'm gonna put up between the driver and passenger seat. That will go in there. And then over here I've got gum and I purposefully got ones that had small packs so I can kind of shove them in different places of the car. And these are just a variety of different things. Moving up here, we have more personal care items. Having extra socks in the car is a must and be able to get them for that cheap of a price for three pair. I have some that will fit adults, some that will fit kids. And because I have three daughters, hair products is like, definitely necessary in the car so I got a couple of these they're great to be able to flip hair up with and then I like to keep one of these little spray bottles even if it's not completely filled just to be able to spray hair and comb it back and I also grab a brush that is more of a soft bristle brush so it's easy to just comb hair back we're not combing through hair in the car we're just gonna try to dress it up and make it look a little bit better. I always grab a pack of hair ties. We have some actual shampoo here. They're just small and convenient and I've actually had to use these before so they definitely are something that I like to throw in there. I also have a thing of lotion. I don't know about you but my girls, they will all of a sudden get on a crazy itchy phase and they need lotion because they're dry and itchy. This was something new I grabbed at Dollar Tree. I had a different um, mirror. It was like 
a small one that had a little stand and this one here actually has suction cups which I thought would be very convenient and you could easily stick it to a window along the line of personal care these things are so nice and actually the last time I stocked up on my car stuff I couldn't find these so it was nice to see that Dollar Tree had these and you don't even need water with them plus they have a little like pick on the end they're just perfect for on the go to quickly freshen your breath and brush your teeth the best you can I've got some feminine care products this was something I had in from last year I think I actually had two of these so one of them got used along the way I have guys and girls deodorant that's always convenient I thought this was so cool they're tiny little tweezers which how many times do we notice our eyebrows or something like that in the car and you just need a little pair of tweezers so I thought those were perfect little size chapstick is a must all over the car this was another little find that I thought was great from Dollar Tree and it's just a little sewing kit in case something happens and you need it along the line of personal care stuff I have some q-tips and a nail clipper this is something I don't know how many times that we've needed in the car is a nail clipper and then this was something new that I just thought was just genius and that is some little laundry bags there's actually three in here and we've had times where a little one is not feeling good and has an accident or like lets their lunch up all over the car and I wish so bad I had a Walmart bag or something like that or something to throw the dirty clothes in that we can get home and wash it so I thought this was such a great find lint rollers are always convenient and then this is just a little mini Febreze that of course you can put in the car especially after you have like food in the car I feel like this is a really great thing to use all right I'm gonna jump down here to this section so this is my like in a emergency state as a mom whatever they're getting antsy you're waiting somewhere you have to do something and they just need something to do and I had a stash of this stuff that I had put in last year and we really didn't use it all up very quickly it was only in times when we really really needed it that I pulled it out so we've got some little squishy things over here like mini etch-a-sketches some glow sticks pencils these were really cool they're just little packs of construction paper and then some glitter crayons and um, this is something that if we were to use it up really fast I would just replenish it because you can find great things like this either at the Dollar Tree or at Target Dollar Spot they have nice little like packs of coloring things and stuff like that I'm gonna start at the bottom of this section so this is the personal care slash emergency kit you can totally buy a first aid kit and it has a lot of stuff in it but I prefer to kind of just go to the Dollar Tree and customize what I would want for in my car instead of having a huge kit of stuff that I wouldn't really use so these things were really cool they actually were in one pack so there was three of these mini packs for $1.25 of hauls which I thought was excellent I can put one in the front of the car one in the back um, and then these were from the last time I stocked up just some vitamin C lozenges, um, some tummy medicine you got Tums and then this is Pepto-Bismol which these are like little chewable tablets Aleve, Advil and Tylenol and the nice thing about these again I reason why I love going to Dollar Tree is these are in little packets so I will open this up I'm not gonna put this whole thing right in to the car but I will open it up as I'm organizing and I will actually like divvy it out where I want it in the car which works out great another thing Dollar Tree has is this pain relief balm which works great if you have like a, a sore muscle or something like that this was something else that I hadn't seen before but it's a little package of different size band-aids which I thought was really nice this is something else that we have used especially in the summertime and that is for mosquito bites it's an anti-itch cream and it's something that definitely is asked for when we're out and about especially at the park and things like that and then obviously a little thing a bug spray and I actually may get another one of these it's not completely filled um, it is from last year and it would be nice to have another one and then this was something else that I hadn't seen at Dollar Tree before but just to have a thermometer you if you're in a situation where you would need this you would not regret having it with you hand sanitizer this is an ice pack that you can just throw ice inside of and um, works out great especially for sporting events where you probably already have ice in the cooler and you can use that a knee support this here was something else new that I hadn't seen before I use peroxide 
all the time. I use it as mouthwash sometimes. I use it as stain remover. I thought it was so nice and convenient in a little spray bottle like this. Just some athletic tape and then along with that I have a nice little elastic support band and then I have some rubber gloves. I think there's like six, six pairs in here which I thought was a great deal. Um, some pens. I actually was at the bank the other day and realized I have no pens left in my car so I needed some of those to stock up. Having a pair of scissors is so nice and I actually have another pair that was in my car from my stock up last year but I want a pair to put in the glove compartment and a pair for in my organizer in the trunk and then having some kind of tape is always nice and this was just a nice small roll that could kind of be used for different things. I wanted a couple more of these plug outlets, a USB plug outlet. This thing here has little wipes in it for like your iPad or your phone. Nice and convenient for the car. And then some little mini tablets for when you need to scratch something down or the kids need something to write in. All right, moving back down to the bottom. This is just kind of an area. Um, I grabbed these just to have in my little caddy in between my seats for when I need a new um, air freshener. I got this to actually vacuum out the car. I'm not sure how much of that going to happen today because it is so cold and then I buy these from Amazon this is not from Dollar Tree I actually buy them in a huge pack but they are gallon bags with a drawstring so they're basically the size of like a Walmart bag but they have the drawstring on them which is so convenient for whenever you just need a quick little trash bag to collect trash you can tell I have kids that are in my car a lot, so I'm always trying to like contain the mess the best I can. And I decided to get this small box of regular size trash bags, especially when we are gone for a weekend or whatnot. It's just nice to have a real size trash bag to collect trash. Then this is kind of my utility area. I grabbed a couple things that there's been times I wish I had in my car. One of them being a tape measure um, because there's a lot of times when I'm shopping for like a piece of furniture or a picture frame or something like that. I have the measurements with me but I wish I had the tape measure to measure objects in the store. So just having one in my car and this one's really really small which is nice. And bungee cords. I have definitely had moments where these would have been so helpful especially to stretch wrap things together in your trunk. So this thing I thought would be super handy, especially for your car. It's actually a really small magnet. So if you were to drop an earring or something like that down between your seats, you could totally get it with this. And I mean, it really doesn't take up that much room in your car. Goo Gone is so helpful, so, so helpful, especially when like somebody steps on a piece of gum or something like that. And this is such a small little bottle. I did grab some really cheap batteries because there are moments whenever somebody needs a battery and then having these little single use super glues is so helpful. Some lighters, a Sharpie, these were the coolest find ever. I'm so excited about these because we can put these throughout the car, but they are a flat flashlight. I don't know if you can see how flat that is. I'm gonna push it and see if you can see it turn on. It's pretty bright actually, and I don't know how many times we're in the dark and the kids are like, hey, I can't see, and I really don't want them to put the overhead light on. So having these back in their reach is going to be so nice. So I did grab four of them. Some of these I had before, but they are all from the Dollar Tree. And if you can't even find the little zip pouches like this, these were from last year. I did just get these and they are like a pencil pouch. They're very thick and durable. I think they'll be great to kind of group things together since a lot of this stuff is really small. I think it's nice to make kind of like kits out of it where you have, you know, your personal care kit and you have little snack kits and things like that. This was one that I also just grabbed. I thought it was kind of cute. This one was from last year and this these were from last year. These are so nice for making a kit. And then these here were in the baby section. I thought they might be convenient for some little stuff. And then this was a pouch I got last year as well. And then this thing here, um, I've been wanting to get something like this and I'm hoping it all fits in here. But I bought this for like my registration and insurance card and stuff like that for in my glove compartment. Okay, this just looks like a sea of like beige, but the, my interior of my car is beige and brown. 
So I obviously went with things that would kind of go with that. So I actually ordered two trunk organizers and they are meant to hang on the back of your seat. Obviously I can't fit both of them, but I didn't know which one I would like better. This one is more like a faux leather. And then this one here is made out of like a, some sort of a canvas something. Now I love them both and I have a really hard time deciding between the two of them, but then I realized that my seat in the back is long enough that if I have this one, and this section of this one together, um, it will take up all of the space and really use the space the best. So I'm going to hang on to these. This one here is really nice. It zips together and has three parts. So if you have a seat that lays down, like one side of your seat, which one of mine does, um, this is really convenient and you can attach this to one side and vice versa, however you wanna do it. I may use these along the sides, what I had before was a trunk organizer that expanded inside my trunk and I don't like that. I want my trunk space for groceries and stuff like that. So I am changing it up and I'm putting things up on the back of my back seat. These were the thing I think I was most impressed with, um, with my whole order of all of this stuff. And they are what goes on the back of the driver and passenger seat. So these things, this will hold a lot of like the stuff that my daughters need. I love that it has these little spots for either wipes or tissues, has these little like water bottle holders. I just think it's excellent for kids needs plus it's insanely durable like this will be so easy to wipe up from their feet and stuff like that it also has a pocket on the top up here and one on the inside and the liner i thought was kind of cute too so i'm so super super happy with these i think these will last a long time and then a few other odds and ends i got this here and i think it's actually supposed to be for diapers but it's going to work great between my seats between the driver and the passenger seat in the front to hold a lot of like my things and the things I would grab and then I did get this this is to go on your visor and of course you could get two of these one for a passenger and one for the driver's side Do you guys remember back in the day whenever these held CDs I think they're trying to remake them so that they can still sell them and use them for something but I think they're gonna be super convenient for things that I want to reach quickly they do have all of these little slots which I'm going to put a few different things in I thought maybe one of those flat flashlights would be great in here. This is actually a clip that you can put your sunglasses in if you want to. Um, and they will be held up there. And then on the inside, it's got these this elastic piece that you can put things in, like pill bottles, whatever else. And then it's got some pockets as well. And this zips right up. And then I did get this here for my sunglasses that clips on the visor. I'm going to put this on the passenger side. And it'll be just easy for me to grab and it does have a magnet that puts it together. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I will leave the links for all of this stuff below. Let's get organizing. There's so many great ideas you could use these dispenser pockets for. You could use them for wet wipes, for tissues. You could even use them for a roll of trash bags, which I may end up doing with one of these. They really are sturdy. As you can see, the cup holders are as well. I just can't say enough good things about these organizers that go on the back of seats. Also, I did not realize this until I started organizing with these, but right under each cup holder is a small black hook, so you could hang something from those as well. Next, I got into the organizer that would go between the driver and the passenger seat. And what I did is I actually did a little bit of measuring to make sure that I got the right size caddy for between my seats. Plus, it is nice and flexible since it's made out of this felt material and you can kind of squeeze it around 
to contour to whatever shapes are between your seats. I just kind of tried my best to stack things in, in an orderly manner. I figured with the dividers, they won't get dumped around too badly. And I love the feature of these small little pockets along the side for all the little goodies. I just think that these flat flashlights are such a neat idea. I will do my best to see if I can find something similar on Amazon to link below in case you don't have access to a Dollar Tree. The next thing that I organized was the little pouch, zipper pouch that attaches to your sun visor and this actually again surprised me with how much space it had in it because all of the vertical pockets actually are the full length of the pouch so you can stick really long objects into each of the little organized slots. Next, I moved to the trunk organizer and I took this little pouch and kind of created my first aid kit. I put a lot of my first aid things in there and I put that pouch on the end. I tried to group things together the best I could in each pouch and these little pouches are very nice and roomy and can really fit a lot of objects. In the next one, I try to put a lot of personal care items and beauty items and things like that. The mesh pouch that is there, I just put a lot of things that we would normally grab out and I wouldn't have to go digging for since I can see them right through the pouch. Then I used this little baby container. It was in the baby section for all of the hair ties that I was putting in the car. The pouch after that, I put a lot of utility items, my little bungee cords and things like that. Again, just trying to group everything together. I am completely amazed at how much I was able to organize in my car and this stuff literally took up almost no space in my car. It wasn't like we noticed that there was extra things in the car and they were all contained and nicely put together. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope this video inspired you, gave you some ideas with weather warming up to get your car organized, especially if you have little ones and they're going to be in it a lot throughout the summer. And I hope that you can leave me a comment below. Let me know what you took away from this video and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.